Hello everyone, welcome to my The Bold and the Beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. How about a roller coaster ride of emotions? Just like the attendees of Eric's goodbye party, I made a vow not to cry when viewing this week's old and beautiful episodes. However, as soon as the event started, I showed myself to be far weaker than the Logans and Foresters who had assembled at the family home. This week's best moment was more about the response it generated than it was about anything that happened on screen. My closest buddy's end, who was having an argument with Ridge and RJ, brought up Eric winning the fashion show as we were watching Monday's program. My best friend and I yelled, don't tell him, together. Of course they did, but that moment when we all screamed at the TV and laughed when the characters ignored our wise counsel served as a reminder of why we, the soap opera viewers, love this medium so much. It also, in an odd manner, showed a few other aspects of soap operas, similar to why seeing them with others is more enjoyable. Growing up, I used to watch with my mother and then with friends. Since the majority of us don't share those common real-world experiences, Twitter may be our preferred social media platform. And no, as long as I live and it's still around, it will always be Twitter and never X. Married Miss Eric ought to have declared that he and Donna were getting married if he truly intended to allay suspicions about his insta-party. Considering how frequently quickie weddings occur on this program, nobody would be suspicious of one at the family estate. Heck, as you can see below, it wouldn't even be the first time that specific duo took that path. Even if you knew the truth, you could still play all the beats of the people present. One may rationalize tears away as happy emotions. Additionally, it would be kind to Donna, who Eric has promised to look after. I kind of liked how the Forrester estate took on a life of its own throughout Eric's description of the incident. That gorgeous, large ancient mansion, he thought to himself, so many amazing things have occurred. My entire existence. Celebrations, holidays, and weddings. The house where Brooke and Ridge first met. Additional information. All we know about the impending Yellowstone spin-off. John McCook, who plays Eric, told me about visiting that specific scene during the first episode's production when we chatted to him last year. It was very amazing, he thought. I recall thinking... This place is definitely spending a lot of money. However, I had no idea how significant that lovely area would grow in the years to come. The celebration itself was pretty much exactly what we all expected, I believe. Attractive individuals making a concerted effort not to appear depressed as their father held back on coughing up blood on his elegant white tuxedo. To be honest, considering his main symptom, shouldn't Donna have recommended a color other than white? I'll be damned if I didn't get swept up in the drama of everyone enjoying their small time with Eric as they tried not to cry after spending weeks talking about characters that shouldn't be there but are. As for me too, how am I meant to stop sobbing when I start? Questioned Bridget. Honor one another. The large party finished with Eric falling, just as I had expected, but I was completely taken aback by the writer's method of getting there. Eric did indeed discover the truth about the fashion showdown, as I had sort of guessed. However, I didn't think he would accept the news so well and say it was the best thing anybody had ever done for him. And how cruel, in the greatest sense of a soap opera, to offer us that little moment of humor right before Eric broke down and appeared to enter the light. Bravo, my love, bold and beautiful. That was a very beautiful finale, As I indicated before, there's a good chance that Eric and Donna's unmarried status will have an impact on what happens next, and the teasers for next week suggest that this will be the case. It sounds as though the family that banded together to support a sick father will begin to fall apart, pun intended. Of course, we also knew that Finn would undoubtedly be developing a treatment for his grandfather-in-law's illness, when he shrugged off the major occasion to furrow his macho brow at his office computer and scrawl unintelligible notes in typical. I'm a doctor way, but will his efforts eventually be rewarded? Could he end up mounting an experimental therapy only to have it backfire and therefore cause a schism in his own marriage? 
Asterisk people can respond inappropriately when they get unpleasant news. I thus believed, despite how horrible it sounded, that Zen's initial response upon learning of Eric's approaching death was to assert that Ridge was just saying that to justify RJ coming to work with him. Speaking of Zen, didn't he take a big chance when he asked the attendees, we all know the truth about grandfather, right? Prior to the party. What if there was someone present who was unaware? Um, um. Ah, uh, asterisk Katie looked even more stunning at Eric's huge party than she did when she dressed for their big fashion battle with Ridge and his father. Although Hope was wearing a gown that Eric had created, wouldn't it have been amazing if Eric had made a point for every woman in attendance to wear dresses that he had created throughout the years? Asterisk woe, the party really had wait staff wandering around serving drinks and canapes. Somebody recalled how wealthy the foresters are. According to teasers for The Bold and the Beautiful, Steffi Forrester wants to know Luna Nozawa even more. Although Luna and RJ Forrester's meal at the cliff home went well, Luna and Steffi will have more chances to become close. Steffi is thrilled with Luna's willingness to provide a hand with Eric Forresteran's legacy collection. Of course, a big part of it is that Luna and RG are so in love with one another. When it comes to winning Steffi over, Luna has a lot going for her, because John Finn Finnegan also likes his adopted cousin. There may be a reason why the program appears to be putting a lot of effort into helping Luna and Steffi develop a strong relationship. Although Luna is unaware of her biological father, the program has hinted that Bill Spencer and Poppy Nozawa may have had a previous relationship. That may make Bill a viable contender for biological fatherhood, contingent on the resolution of this father mystery. In any event, it's simple to see Luna confiding in Steffi concerning her circumstances. Undoubtedly, Luna is being affected by the close-knit community of foresters and is beginning to worry about her unidentified biological father. At some point, Luna could come to the conclusion that she wished she had known if she had a large family. That would prompt Luna to probe Poppy about her father, but Poppy might try to stop Luna from talking. Luna looking into this would worry Steffi as Finn's real mother was revealed to be the insane Shayla Carter, Kimberlyn Brown. When you start looking into the past on soap operas, you never know who may emerge from the shadows, which would compel Steffi to become engaged and make an effort to keep Luna safe. Luna may find that Steffi is the ideal candidate to help her piece together her biodad. Steffi is aware of Bill's past and the frequency with which his long-lost children appear in BNP stories, after all. Since it has already occurred with Liam Spencer and Wyatt Spencer, Darren Brooks, Steffi wouldn't find it absurd to believe that Luna is the next victim. When Steffi learns that Bill is starting to feel a connection with Poppy, she could realize that Luna may actually be her father. Through a DNA test, it may pave the way for Steffi to make the connections and eventually assist Luna in doing the same. Will Steffi be the one to find out who Luna's biological father really is? Will Steffi solve the enigma surrounding Bill and Poppy's history? Keep checking back for updates on whether Steffi will become embroiled in any fresh family conflict as the bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest she may learn some startling news. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.